First at 11, a Providence woman is behind bars tonight, accused of causing a deadly hit and run in the capital city this week. Providence police charged 27 year old Caitlin Kelly in connection with the death of an 85 year old woman. Tonight, we have reaction from the victim's family and from advocates who say more needs to be done to keep pedestrians and others safe. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joins us with the latest. Kayla. Vonda Makovetsky's son-in-law tells me he's grateful for the quick work by police to arrest someone in this hit and run case, but he says their family will never be the same. My wife has just been like a different person. Uh, she can barely speak. She is uh, devastated, completely broken. It's been an emotional couple of days for the family of Vonda Makovetsky. The 85 year old woman was walking with her husband and crossing North Main Street early Wednesday morning when police say she was hit by a vehicle and later died. Authorities believe the driver was 27 year old Caitlin Kelly, who's now in custody. But for her to make that decision to take off and then to continue to try to hide, she just ruined her life. I, it, that's that's mind blowing right there. Vonda's son-in-law Mike Deshays says her funeral will be Saturday. He says their family has been blown away by the outpouring of support. I told my my wife, I think your mom has touched the hearts of a lot of people, and a lot of people in this community are very concerned with what's happened, and and some people are are, are really upset or angry about it. That includes members of the Providence Streets Coalition who put up a sign at the scene of the crash. They say a tragedy like this was inevitable. A young man was killed just eight months ago at the same street and very little has been done to improve pedestrian safety. This stretch of North Main Street from Doyle northward is owned by the state. Advocates say drivers often speed through the area. There's pedestrians everywhere um, and yet it's a highway running through the middle of the city. They've been pushing for changes to the street design like narrower lanes or raised crosswalks that could make the area safer. We believe it would save lives. Now Kelly has been charged with duty to stop in accidents resulting in personal injury and cited for failing to report the crash. She's being held behind bars until the next court session is held. In Providence, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.